Welcome to this Secrets of video, which in five minutes shows you how to use projects working with Speedstack and SI8000 to fine tune PCP stack ups. This example shows you how to use Speedstack and SI8000 working together to share impedance controlled structures from a stack up that you've already designed. It allows you to use Speedstack as a container for all the impedance controlled geometrical information and then to use the flexibility of SI8000 to experiment with each structure individually. So the first step is to open a file with a stack that you're interested in. I'll look at a recent file. This stack up contains four impedance controlled structures and if we look at them one of them is marked in yellow because it's close to the edge of tolerance. Going back to each structure, I can step through each structure one by one to see their position in the stack. In Speedstack, all the height information is calculated from the press thickness in the stack up. You've got control over the width, but really no visibility over the sensitivity of each structure. Looking on the right of the toolbar, the icon here says to SI projects. What this will do is to take all of the structure information individually and paste them into an SI project. So I'll click this icon and flip into the SI8000. You can see the SI interface here. We can view all of the structures available to the SI8000. View your particular structures you've saved from previous jobs or go to the projects view and we can now go to this icon, paste from Speedstack, and here are the four structures you've worked with previously. Click on each one, calculate 99 ohms, 72 ohms, 99, and again, 72 ohms. I can go back to Speedstack and look at the targets for each of these. So the target impedance on the 72 ohm structures was 75 ohms in each case. Structure 2, 75 ohms. In SI8000, I can look at these and maybe goal seek on the line width, set a target impedance here for 75, calculate the line width. I could also look at the tolerance and say set a 10% tolerance on the line width to see how much that effect that would have on the impedance. So let's set 10% on W1, W2, I can see with a 10% tolerance, I'd be between 72 and 77 ohms. So that's a comfortable uh, amount of tolerance. Let's look at layer four. Let's also calculate here, 75 ohms, 72 ohms. Again, set the target for 75, calculate the line width. I'm not happy with the line width for all of those, and I've looked at the tolerance on, on, on the two structures that were close to the edge. I can now take these, L1, and I can copy this structure back into Speedstack. So L1, back into Speedstack, paste from the field solver, Back again, select structure four. Copy to speed stack. Paste from the field solver. And now recalculate. Revisit the control impedance results. And you can see that very quickly by going into SI8000, checking the tolerance, checking the parameters, making some fine adjustments, bringing the structures back into speed stack, and you've tidied up and centered up the torrents of your stack. And that's how easy it is to use Speedstack projects and SI8000 projects in conjunction with each other. Thank you for viewing this presentation. And if you'd like to have a web-based demonstration, 
please contact your local polar office and the details are shown on the following slide.